The way that um, rivers and streams flow through the land, uh, they're like the blood vessels of the land, if you like, and small streams like this would be the capillaries. The ecological status of a river is directly related to its chemical status. And that's to say that the organisms that live on a stream bed are very sensitive to changes in the water chemistry. Every year for the last 10 years, the Aquatic Services Unit has gone out twice, once in May and um, also in September, and carried out an ecological survey. And this data really completes the puzzle, completes the picture, complementing the data that we gather on um, hydrological and chemical parameters. I'm Lauren Williams. I'm a freshwater ecologist. I work with my colleague Jura Morgan um, in the Aquatic Services Unit UCC. Um, we've been involved in the Agricultural Catchments Program for 12 years. We would take samples of diatoms, which are the small algae living on the, on the rocks in the stream, um, and macroinvertebrates, uh, depending on the habitat, preserve the samples on site, um, process those in the lab, and provide the results and the data to the research team in the Agricultural Catchments Program. Whatever goes into the small streams, which are the, like the capillaries, end up in the larger veins or arteries downstream, which can have additional impacts there, and eventually end up in the estuaries and in the marine environment. Water quality is really the basis of the food chain. It's somewhere along the line, it ends up in our food chain as well. So it is important. It's not just about what lives in the river. It's about everything. That's what ecology is.